welcome to part two of the Lucaya video series thing. Yay! So, this is just a doodle. You can see I had already started before I realized I should probably record it. You know, it'd be good for a speed paint to talk about these two. And this is on Fire Alpaca, the Fire Alpaca, not Medibang like the last one. So that's pretty much all the details. This is Luca and Papaya, and we're gonna be talking about them again. So here we go. Uh, you can't really tell right now, but Luca does, in the end result, look a bit nervous. Right now he's just kind of chill, but <laughs> I changed him up a bit. Uh, the reason why he is nervous has to do with a, a sad fact. So Luca is 100% nightmare demon. He's not, you know, uh, in an <laughs> what is it called like an inner species kind of person he's his both his parents his whole family just 100 percent nightmare demon and papaya is not he is half nightmare demon half human which is not rare i mean no it is rare but it's not like unheard of you know it's been happening for a while he's not the first uh half nightmare demon half human and he's not going to be the last but pretty rare and the thing is, nightmare demons usually live pretty long. <laughs> pretty long. Uh, what did I say? How old did I say Luca was? Like, he was, he's been, god, how many centuries has he been alive? Like, uh, he's, he's lived through the Black Plague. That's how old he is. Papaya <laughs> is, like, in this, you know, once things start getting, you know, get going, he's, like, in his early 20s. That's nothing. That's human. He's half human, half nightmare demon, and half, you know, have nightmare demons do tend to live longer than normal humans but only about like 100 through 150 years of age which is old to us humans but is absolutely nothing to nightmare demons that's like a couple of days to them it's it means nothing right very very short lifespan and no one knows this more than luca who has been around for so long and who has never had anything um, against humans, so he would befriend them a lot and get into relationships. Whether they were platonic or rom or romantic didn't really matter. He liked he liked to have company uh, with humans, and you know they would only live up to a certain amount of years, and they would pass away, and he would continue living on without them, and he's not heartless you know so he had some feelings and he had some sad <laughs> moments it's really hard uh this isn't really the best doodle to talk over because it's such a, like a happy picture but he you know he went through a lot this this guy luca which is why he's so cold you know so cold and distant now just because he's sick of it oh i thought i heard somebody tapping on the window jesus christ it's windy outside. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? He's gone through a lot, this poor kid. And so he's kind of tries to stay away from humans, you know. She tries to not get into any types of attachment or relationships with them. And which is why he pushed Papaya away so much. Because he was just like, nope, I'm not gonna, not gonna do this anymore. <laughs> I'm done with humans. I'm done getting close to them. Of course, you know, Papaya continued kind of chasing him that's why in you know luca did try to put up a fight and didn't work and now he got way too close to papaya and things are not you know things are eventually going to end and uh it's not going to be a fun time papaya is kind of aware of why luca is like this you know at first he was like i don't get why this guy is pushing me away and eventually after he starts to get to know luca and more about luca's past and you know past relationships all this stuff he's like Oh, this is why he wasn't going to get close to me. He wasn't laughing, but <laughs> I'm only laughing. But he's very, you know, optimistic. He's very, you know, nothing's wrong. Nothing wrong is going to happen to us. You know, like I'm going to live a long time. I'm going to do the best that I can to stay healthy and and just, you know, stay around because Luca needs me and I can't leave him right now. So um, Luca, of course, is like, I don't need you, you know, but. He does. He does get close. Um, I do want to talk about like really, really like personal sad things, but like I said, this video isn't long enough, and it's not the right um atmosphere. Atmosphere. Bleh. 
So <laughs> I'm going to talk about some really, really sad things in the next speed paint. But it has to do with this, with, you know, the first time like Luca kind of opens up and allows himself to, I don't know, become attached to papaya, I guess, you know, allows himself to be like, you know what, I can't go on much longer staying away from everyone else. I'm lonely and I, I need somebody and yeah, but anyways, I'm not going to talk about it right now. <laughs> this is not the time. Okay, it's not the time. Of course, you know, Luca is also kind of optimistic about, you know, the whole thing. Papaya is like, you know, I'm going to do the best that I can to stick around for Luca. And Luca, on the other hand, is thinking to himself, you know, all my past relationships, all my past friendships and, and you know, um, partners, they all passed away and there was nothing I could do about it. But this time it's going to be different. This time, I'm going to, you know, put up a fight, I guess. I'm going to keep this kid safe as long as I can. I'm going to take care of him because he deserves it out of anyone I've ever known. He is the nicest and, you know, he says it, you know, not as nice as that because Luca is not as, as you know, nice and romantic as I am. But <laughs> but he, he definitely wants to, you know, keep him safe. And Papaya feels pretty much the exact same way. The thing is that Papaya isn't really a fighter. You can see him, he's tiny and fragile and just a, a ball of sunshine. While Luca, on the other hand, you know, he doesn't like to fight, but he knows how to. He's pretty strong. I mean, um, I don't, I do, <laughs> I have some Google documents, I guess, written about Nightmare Demons. I haven't um, published them yet to the public, I guess, but in the thing about nightmare demons uh you'll learn that the demons who have those kind of uh deformities quote unquote are the ones with the gashes which is what luca has on his neck so those are considered to be pretty strong so luca is a pretty strong demon guy <laughs> so when he says he can protect papaya he really does mean it papaya on the other hand not a fighter has no experience but he would definitely put his life on the line for luca he feels like he owes Luca his life, you know, um, <laughs> but he doesn't really have any basis on it, you know, but he does care about him so much to the point of willingly, you know, doing anything for that guy, so he's very selfless, Papaya. This ship is so funny to me, like, Papaya is kind of like a little bunny, and then Luca's kind of like a, what is it, is it a Doberman? Like a dog, like honestly, personality wise, Luca's more like a dog, I mean, like a cat, and Papaya's like a dog, because you know, he's always so happy to be around, like dogs are, dogs are so happy, and cats are like, eh, so that's, that's a good comparison, a cat and a dog, or like, like a little, or like a little puppy, and like, ugh, anyways, but yeah, they're just complete opposites with, like, personality wise, and I don't, really understand how this became a ship because when I first created Papaya after Luca I was not they were not supposed to be shipped together at all I did not even picture it but you guys uh made it happen I guess they're not canon by the way they're not actually together but you know you can keep on believing if that's what you want to do <laughs> all right this video has come to an end so thank you very much for watching and thank you so much for being invested in my characters if you would have told me a year ago that so many people would be into them, I would not even believe you because it's just, it's such a crazy thing for me to imagine. But anyways, it's time to go. So thank you very much and um, take care of yourself and I love you. Okay, bye!